let's quickly talk about the Credit One Bank American Express card. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee you. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about the Credit One Bank American Express card. And here is a card you can see on the screen here. This is how it looks like. And the rewards rate on this card, 1%. There is an annual fee of $39. There is no introductory introductory bonus. The regular APR is 23.99% variable. And in terms of the recommended credit score, you are looking at fair to good. So 580, 570, all the way to 740. So when we think about the Credit One Bank American Express card, I want you to think about one thing. It is a joint venture between uh, Credit One Bank and American Express. So American Express benefits like shopping protections, travel perks, and Amex offers make the Credit One Bank American Express card one of the better Credit One cards available. And this could certainly be worthwhile features if you are building your score. But you may be able to find higher cashback rates and potentially more valuable benefits with other cards for fair credit or even secure credit cards. So what I'm trying to say here is that if you are currently, if you currently have bad credit, fair credit, thin credit, and you're trying to build credit, this card is definitely for you. But if you have good credit or excellent credit, you don't want to look at this card at all, okay? And so this card is an unsecured credit card. The amount, the maximum amount, the maximum limit here, $15,000. APR, I've already said it, 23.99%. There are some fees. I will talk about the fees later on. And the, the decision speed for this card in terms of approval, three to seven days. Okay, and there are no extra conditions. Now, they might ask you for, uh, they might ask you to verify your employment, to verify your identity. That's definitely something that you have to be ready to uh, provide. They also might ask you for uh, your W-2s, your 1099s, or your tax returns for the last three years. Okay, but again, overall maximum limit, $15,000, APR 23.99%, and uh, so that's it. I want to talk to you about the pros and cons of this card, okay? We're still having a conversation about the $15,000 Credit One Bank of America, Credit One Bank American Express card, okay? This is not a Bank of America credit card. This is a Credit One Bank American Express card. So what about the pros and cons here? Pros, fewer fees than other Credit One cards. You have solid American Express benefits for those with fair credit, including shopping and travel perks. Unlimited 1% cashback on all purchases. You have, this card is available to folks with uh, bad or average credit. We have a simple reward structure. We love that because this is really simple to understand. It is very transparent what kind of rewards you're getting. And you have access to American Express benefits. So everybody knows that if you don't have uh, solid credit, you can't qualify for an American Express credit card. But with this joint venture, if you will, between Credit One Bank and American Express, you're able to access American Express benefits, even without the stellar credit that comes with regular American Express credit cards. What about the cons here? Well, we do have the $39 annual fee. This fee is not waived the first year as you would find for other cards. No, it is maintained. The low cashback rate only redeems for automatic statement credits. And you have, and one thing we have seen based on our research, several credit cards for fair or average credit and unsecured cards outclass many of uh, this card's rates and features. You do have a low rewards rate. There is no bonus. There's no introductory bonus and higher fees and APRs. So credit card, credit card, credit card. So is this a card that you are really interested in? 
if you're interested in this card, then you need to know that the um, the maximum limit is fifteen thousand dollars. Okay, it is simple. Don't, don't get me wrong. We love the fact that the simple the reward structure is simple, and uh, so there are no spending categories to remember, and no no limits on how much you can earn in rewards. So if you spend fifteen thousand dollars in a year with this card, you will get one fifty dollars in rewards. So that's the maximum here. Okay, and one thing you need to understand is that you have uh, access to exclusive discounts on dining, shopping, and travel offered through American Express. So this is really good. We love also the, re the return protection with this card. So if you attempt to return an eligible purchase and the retailer will not accept it, you may qualify for reimbursement through American Express. You also get travel discounts. So you get discounts on select flights, car rentals, hotel stays, and cruises. So this is really good. Let me take an in-depth look at the card, folks. We are still having a conversation about the $15,000 Credit One Bank American Express card. And uh, so the rewards rate, 1% cashback, that it's clear. The APR, 23.99%. There is no balance transfer introductory APR. There is no purchase introductory APR. There is no welcome offer. Okay, so there's not there. But how do you save money with this card? How do you actually save money? Money, 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 money. Does this card really help you save money? Yes, it does. So you have the cash back. So you have to make sure that you're the, you have to use the card in a, in a certain way so that you can qualify for the cash back or you can maximize your cash back. I've already told you, if you spend a maximum amount of $15,000 on this card, you get $150 back. Okay. So Despite its low yield cashback rate compared to most other cashback credit cards, the Credit One American Express card's flat rate cashback could encourage credit building through healthy spending instead of chasing rewards, right? Because the percentage is so low, it's just a lot. You use this card to actually build credit. You, so you have to be financially responsible when using the card, okay? Let's talk about earning cashback and then I'll talk about redeeming cashback. So earning cashback. So the Credit One American Express card makes, makes cashback easy if you're looking for a no frills way to earn rewards while building credit. And uh, the cool thing is you earn the 1% cashback on all purchases. There are no restrictions. There's nothing to no All purchases. You don't have, there's no rotating category. There is no quarter to quarter. You have to monitor your spending every quarter or every month. No, it's just 1% on all purchases. Okay, and uh, you also need to understand that once you are ready, you have built your credit score and you have brought your credit score to a certain amount, it's just better to, to uh, you, you, you don't have to close the account, but you can still keep it, you can keep the card open, but not use it that much. How do you redeem cash back? There is only one way to redeem your cash back with a Credit One Bank American Express, automatic statement credits to your account. So it's an easy way to keep your balance and credit utilization ratio low if you prefer straightforward rewards, but you will not find redemption options like direct deposit, the direct account deposits, checks, or gift cards with this card. Not at all. Let me talk to you about eligibility. Big decision time. Are you interested in this card? I want you to talk to me right now. If your goal is to get the card, if your goal is to get this $15,000 Credit One Bank American Express card, you got to be at least uh, 21 years old or 18 with either a parent's permission or a verifiable source of, of, of income. It's very important to be able to verify your source of income. And we are talking here about the, your, your W-2s, your 1099s, your 1040s, or if you paid in cash every week or every two weeks or every month, whatever the frequency is, you want to get a letter of uh, employment from your employer. You want your employer to to actually ascertain that you indeed have a job. Either you have a full-time job, part-time job, it doesn't matter, but you got to have a source of income. You got you need to have a social security number or, an, or you need to have an ITIN. Either way, you need to have a number whereby the the bank or the uh, the credit card issuer can verify that you are indeed you indeed can pay credit you can pay taxes in the United States 
okay and one thing i also need to say is you need to have in some cases a positive credit history but if not it's okay you just need to have uh, some kind of uh, some kind of liquidity because they might ask you to provide the last three bank statements so they can see what kind of uh, money you're making what kind of uh, you know what kind of uh, inflows and outflows that you have one way you one way you can actually boost your chances of approval is to co-apply yes did you take that so you can you can co you can co-apply for this credit card you and your spouse or a friend or whatever that way you're able to boost your chances of approval and uh there are authorized users available on this card just so you can add authorized users to your account in which case the bank will ask for their names and in in some cases their social security number and date of birth okay so this users will also receive a credit one bank american express card in their name and be able to make purchases with a card keep in mind however that authorized users are not co-signers because you alone will be responsible for making all payments on the account so it's very important to remember that and uh, last but not the least you can use the card to transfer balances if you do have offers right now if as a new customer there are no welcome offer there are no welcome offers but if after three months or six months of using the card you get a pre-qual offer from a credit one bank go ahead and grab it if the interest rate is pretty interesting go ahead and grab it i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Suede QA Show. We are still having a conversation about the Credit One Bank American Express card, and this is a $15,000. This is the maximum limit on this card of $15,000. This is a card that helps you build credit. And um, let's talk about the perks. Okay, so how much are rewards worth with this card? So, as a cashback card, your 1% statement credits are worth one cent per dollar of each person each purchase okay and statement credits likely will not be a problem if you're focused on building credit otherwise different true cashback redemption redemption choices might personally be more valuable and versatile and what are the benefits that you need to think about so you need to understand that you have uh, some shipping protections right so this card actually helps you save money 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 you do have solid perks and shopping protections for car holders with uh, bad to fair credit so what are the shopping protections you have retail protection you have a extended warranty and you have return protection I already uh, talked about return protection but what about retail protection so also known as the purchase protection this policy covers your item up to one thousand dollars this is fifty thousand dollars per calendar year if it's damaged or stolen within 90 days after you bought it what about extended warranty you will receive extended coverage matching your, the purchases warranty of 12 months or less up to the items cost or ten thousand dollars whichever is less what about some uh, the travel perks that you might love with this card you have uh, the, these benefits are par for the course of uh, for the course for many travel cars and rewards cars but can provide some peace of mind while traveling for example you have car rental loss and damage insurance so by, by paying with your card and declining the auto rental agency's protection, your rental vehicle is covered in the event of eligible collision and theft cases. You have worldwide travel accident insurance. So in the event of accident, death or qualified impairment during common carrier travel, like a plane, trip, bus or ship, you and eligible passengers are covered up for up to $150,000 when you pay your ticket with your card. You have Amex Entertainment Access. This is really interesting. So like many other similar programs, this benefit grants exclusive card member access to events and experiences. So you will have the chance to snack ticket pre-sales and preferred sitting with Ticketmaster. And you also have travel discounts. So here you have special discounts and fares on eligible travel, including up to 10% off Delta airline flights, up to 25% off car rentals, and discounted hotel rates so this is pretty good let's talk about the uh, 
we have talked about let's talk about the rates this is very important you need to pay attention to the the uh, the rates and uh, when we talk about the rates we have to pay attention to uh, it's actually rates and fees not just uh, the rates okay so the american express credit one cars 39 out so the you first you need you need to have you need to take into consideration the 39 dollars annual fee so this is kind of uh, this is not a deal breaker if you were to ask us okay plus the low one percent cashback rate could make this uh fee hard to make the uh, i mean it could make it hard to make up the annual fee it's because you would have to spend three hundred dollars three hundred and twenty five dollars a month which could be particularly hard considering the minimum credit line of five hundred dollars okay but again you just need to know that and uh, you do have an apr of uh, 23.99 percent variable think about it this is kind of high but again it comes with the territory so is this, is this credit card interesting credit card credit card credit card well in terms of fees not really that much not really that much so depending on your choices you could also face a three percent foreign transaction fee or one dollar whichever is greater nineteen dollars fee for each authorized user or an an optional credit protection program fee monthly 96 cents per dollar uh, per hundred dollars of your balance so you do have a constellation of fees that are basically that make the card that could make the card not interesting for someone who's trying to build credit because there could be other not there could be there are other choices out there you can you can uh, talk to your credit union you can talk to your uh, community bank you can talk to your regional bank and try to get a card from them one thing i want to say about rates and fees is that as long as you're able to repay the full balance of your uh, credit one bank american express card you should be okay the problem is not a lot of us are that disciplined not a lot of us are that disciplined in terms of making a full payments every month sometimes we forget to, to make the payments sometimes we don't we, we only pay the the minimum payment the three percent so this is how you start racking up charges on your on your account so let's say the maximum limit on this card is fifteen thousand dollars let's say you basically um you got uh, five thousand dollars in limits and you're able and you are racking up fees over fees over fees that go all the way to two thousand or three thousand that's a lot of money in other words you're only paying this you're only paying credit one in fees you're not using the card so the bottom line here is you have to be financially responsible with this card given the high rates and fees that we have with the the card let me give you some extra information folks we are still having a conversation here about uh, this credit one bank american express card and uh, there are some better than better than average perks for a credit building card this card does have some good perks that you need to pay attention to especially because uh you have fair or poor credit so you have a free online credit score so this is really good through this card you can access your experience credit score online every month to monitor your credit health and track your progress this is really good because um you only have if you don't have to, if you don't sign up with this service through credit one bank you can also uh, check your credit score for free at annualcreditreport.com but this is only once a year Whereas this service it happens once a month. So this is really good. By the way, you can also sign up for a free for a free credit monitoring service through Credit Karma or Nerd Wallet or Wallet Hub or Credit Wise. So this is not really a, so if you don't qualify, if you don't qualify for this card, you have options. That's the bottom line. The bottom line is you do have options. You also you also have uh, the car rental loss and damage insurance so you can get reimbursed for damages to your rental car caused by theft or collision so this is something you need to pay attention to and i also want to talk to you about the amex offers okay so a car, this this card is linked to uh, a lot of offers through the amex program so you can you have access to special promotions at restaurants clothing stores travel sites and more allowing you to get bonus cash back when you use your credit one bank american express card the question is does this do this perks do this special promotions fit into your lifestyle do they fit with your spending pattern because it has to be it has to be harmonious if you have access to all this special promotions, so-called special promotions but you don't use the card or you don't let's say you just cook at home 
if you don't if you if you don't go to restaurants for food or whatever then you're not really using the card or you cannot benefit from this uh, special promotions so it's all about making sure that the cards benefits the cards rewards the cards perks match the kind of lifestyle that you have or the kind of lifestyle that your family has very important before we close today's conversation i want to quickly compare and contrast this card the credit one bank american express card to other credit cards in the same category and we have three cards that we really want to compare and contrast here so we have the pedal two cashback no fees visa credit cards so this card has a rewards rate one percent cashback on eligible purchases right away up to 1.5 percent cashback on eligible purchases after making 12 on-time monthly payments the credit limit here 300 to ten thousand dollars remember for the credit one bank american express credit limit is 500 to fifteen thousand okay there is no annual fee whereas this card has a 39 dollars annual fee and uh, other things you need to know this is an unsecured card so no deposit is required the issuer evaluates alternative credit data like income and bill payment history when evaluating applications not just the credit score so we love that and this includes a money management set of tools and free credit reporting free credit reporting as well and uh, if you compare the credit one bank american express card to the discover it secured credit card this is a secure credit card however you have two percent cash back at gas stations and restaurants up to one thousand dollars in purchases per quarter you have one percent cash back on all on uh, other purchases credit limits here 200 to 2500 dollars equal to your deposit this is a secure credit card okay there's no annual fee but the cool thing here is that when you have a discover it secure credit card you have access to a free FICO score. There's no late fee the first time you pay late. After that, up to $40. No foreign transaction fee and no penalty APR. And the issuer, Discover, in that case, guarantees that it will not raise your APR if you skip the payment. What about uh, the third credit card that we want to compare the Credit One Bank American Express card to? This is here. We have the Capital One Quicksilver One Cash Rewards credit card. So here the rewards rate 1.5 percent cash back on every purchase this is an unsecured credit card okay and uh, in terms of credit limits you can go all the way to twenty five thousand dollars the annual fee thirty nine dollars okay and you have a chance at a higher credit line with account review after six months of on-time payments and the uh, funny and responsible use of the card the card has no foreign transaction fee we love that and the liability the there is zero dollar for liability so you have it the interest rate on uh, on this card is around uh, 26 percent interest rates the the aprs that is on um all capital one credit cards is kind of high it's always double digits however you can actually you have to balance that out with the constellation of benefits you can get from the card all right folks this was it for today's conversation I was talking to you about the Credit One Bank American Express card and I gave you an overview of the card, the pros and cons. We spoke about, we have a, we had an in-depth look. I spoke about eligibility. I spoke about the perks. We had some information about the rates, the extra information that you need. And we compared and contrasted this card to the Pedal 2 Cashback No Fees Visa Credit Card, the Discover It Secure Credit Card, and the Capital One Quicksilver One Cash Rewards Credit Card. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.